Good day, this is our latest video update on Typhoon Tembin and Typhoon Bolivin here on this Tuesday afternoon here in the Western Pacific. And again, we continue to watch Tembin moving right off the coast of eastern Taiwan. And also, uh, Typhoon Bolivin then moving quickly to the north and could make landfall in North Korea in the next few hours. Now, before we get into the uh, two tropical systems, I just want to quickly mention uh, a developing low pressure, not really developing, but an invest area here near Palau. Uh, some people have asked me about this. We have Invest 90W northeast of Palau. There is a low level circulation center, although very weak and not that all organized. You can see in this infrared image, very little uh, convective activity, if anything. Um, computer models have also haven't really showed anything in terms of development in this area. So after the two systems dissipate in the next few days, we are looking at possibly uh, some more quieter days here in the Western Pacific in terms of tropical cyclone activity. Now with that said, go on to the typhoon that we have been watching for days. You have Typhoon Tembin or Bagyong in May, which has entered Philippine Air Responsibility early last night. It's last look at approximately 150 kilometers east southeast of Taipei here in Taiwan and also uh, roughly 150 kilometers west of the island of Miyakojima here in Japan. Maximum sustained winds remain at 120 km per hour with gusts of up to 175 according to JMA. Although the Joint Typhoon Warning Center has downgraded this system to a tropical storm. Uh, the system is currently moving northeastward at 30 km per hour and you can see this latest visible image. And the, continu the, the system continues to have that organized core although uh, very small in, in, uh, in coverage and uh, doesn't look to uh, too much of a typhoon in terms of the satellite and also you can see in this latest infrared image very weak convective activity if you may very warm uh, relatively warmer cloud tops compared to what we've seen in the past few days from this system and it really peaked in, in in terms of strength now it is moving east of taiwan moving quickly to the north at 30 kilometers per hour so it is accelerating on the way of um, Typhoon Bolivin creating a weakness here in East China Sea and that's basically where the system will uh, move in the next few days. We still have warnings out, out of Taiwan, you still have extremely heavy rain across uh, many areas. Typhoon warnings for um, three counties, at least three counties of, uh, uh, for Hualien, Yilan and also New Taipei City. And uh, also Pagasus issued signal number one for Batanes group of islands. Uh, which is also feeling some effects in terms of uh, scattered rain showers and also some gusty winds out of the southwest uh, in the wake of um, Typhoon Tembin. Uh, thankfully the system is, uh, is beginning to weaken and you can see the latest radar from Taiwan. Much of the rains are now offshore. We still have, we're still we still seeing some residual rain showers across the uh, central portions of the region although with the heaviest rains we have seen last night and in, uh, yesterday are finally gone. Um, even here in the Miyakojima Islands, not really seeing any heavy rains despite the system being near those um, those areas. In terms of rainfall reports, we received uh, roughly around 200 to 300 millimeters isolated across the mountainous regions. Overall, roughly around 100 to 200 millimeters across the counties of um, uh, Hualien and um, Taitung County, and also near Hengchun, where the, sy the system technically didn't make landfall though it did brush the southern tip of Taiwan uh, late last night uh, actually earlier this morning and again you can see the system is now moving quickly to the north as you can see in the latest forecast from JTWC expecting the system to maintain its strong tropical uh, tropical storm status in the next two days at least and you can see them bringing Tembin east of uh, Shanghai probably around 250 kilometers east of Shanghai by Thursday morning and then look at that if you if you watched our video yesterday, uh, forecast from JTWC is bringing Tembin into Shandong Peninsula by uh, by this weekend. But look at that; that they have shifted their forecast track well to the east now, and unfortunately forecasting a landfall here along the northwestern tip of North Korea by as early as Friday morning. Um, again, as a tropical storm, but depending on the rate of um, uh, rate of speed and also the uh, uh, extra tropical transition we could expect a perhaps as weak as a tropical depression or even an extra tropical storm by the time it makes landfall here nevertheless it will still do pretty much the same damage and pretty much bring, bring the same threat across uh, the 
parts of uh, Korean Peninsula, heavy rains and gusty winds. So something to keep an eye out here as well. And looking also at the latest forecast from Japan Meteorological Agency, shifting their forecast as well to the east compared to their forecast 24 hours ago and now showing a landfall. Again, following the wake of Bolivin, uh, making landfall here in North Korea uh, by as early as Friday uh, morning or perhaps Friday afternoon, depending on the speed, and uh, taking also the system right into Pyongyang by Friday uh, evening perhaps, as a weakening tropical storm and perhaps a tropical depression once it crosses into China by this weekend. So, fortunately, looks like a one-two punch for Korean Peninsula. As uh, from uh, if you know, Bolivin is now making landfall here in North Korea, and fortunately, in the next few days, looks like it will be followed by yet another tropical storm. So, not going to be a good uh, scenario for them. Now, speaking of the other system, we have Typhoon Bolivin, located approximately 200 kilometers east of Seoul uh, with maximum sustained winds of about 120 kilometers per hour with gusts of up to 195. Same with Tembin and this is from JMA. Uh, JTWC has also downgraded this system to a tropical storm uh, early this morning. Uh, the system is moving north northeastward at 35 kilometers per hour. You can see in this latest visible image the system is somewhat losing tropical characteristics now with more stratocumulus clouds, more dry air Wrapping into the circulation, partially exposed core, actually you can see that it's latest visible image now, the system will start to move into North Korea in the next 3 to 6 hours. And again moving into Pyongyang, weakening to a tropical depression perhaps uh, by tomorrow Wednesday as it crosses into um, China. But as, as of right now, still the threat of heavy rain remains and you can see in this latest infrared image, still bulk of convection displaced uh, north and northeast of the system center affecting primarily northern part of South Korea, especially Seoul, and also the rest of um, North Korea, and even also some rains being reported here in northeastern China and also as far west as Shandong. Now the system, uh, you can see in this latest radar image from the Korean Meteorological Administration showing you the bulk of the rains are now moving north into North Korea. We are seeing some <coughs> bands of isolated thunderstorms and rains uh, associated with the circulation of um, Bolivin. Before we move on, we continue to get uh, great footage from you guys. Sir, thanks for uh, for Dan for sharing his uh, two videos out here in Okinawa when Bolivin made landfall. Remember, Bolivin made landfall in Okinawa two days ago as a Category Three storm, and you can see the trees swaying here from the this is probably taken during the afternoon hours he was saying that I made landfall approximately 30 kilometers north of his area and you can see that uh, winds basically blowing the trees around here's another video of his and uh, this is taken during the night perhaps during the uh, the time as the eye made landfall again roughly 30 kilometers north and you can see you can probably hear the howling of the winds if you listen closely And uh, you can check out his uh, full videos by uh, clicking the link below on our uh, video description. Again, th thank you for for uh, for Dan for emailing us those video. And if you have your own storm uh, images or videos to share, you can email them as email them to us at philippineweather@yahoo.com. Fortunately, Okinaw fared really well when Bolivin made landfall. No reports of casualties, no reports of major damages in the island. Some uh, outages, but uh, not too severe and uh, perhaps uh, common, probably nuisance, if you may. Uh, as for uh, as for the Korean Peninsula, unfortunately, things did not go as uh, that well. Um, we did receive a report of four fishermen uh, died early this morning when two at least two Chinese boats uh, sank off the coast of Jeju Island and also uh, as for um, as for Seoul nearly 100 flights have been cancelled out of Incheon Airport a major airport hub here in Eastern Asia so 100 flights cancelled and also as of right now we still have 200,000 homes without power across South Korea down uh, from a peak of 700,000 homes and business establishments from this morning. So 
Bolivin did make a quite of an impact across uh, the Korean Peninsula, not only in terms of power outages and cancellations and death, but also of heavy rains. Received reports of um, uh, nearly 200 millimeters across the western portions of th of South Korea, and even a station here in Mokpo reported as, uh, receiving sustained winds of um, 100 to 140 kilometers per hour and a minimum pressure of 962 millibars earlier this morning as the system quickly moved to the north. So, s north. so Bolivin still uh, maintaining that strong intensity despite moving into cooler uh, waters and unfortunately is now moving uh, into North Korea and perhaps uh, expecting those uh, intense heavy rains for the next uh, for the next 12 hours and um, probably see more reports out of that area starting tomorrow in terms of um, damages uh, hopefully not too much. Now again the system will make landfall in the next few hours moving quickly to the northeast across North Korea weakening to a tropical depression perhaps and perhaps uh, starting to transition into a tro extra, tropical tr uh, extra tropical storm by tomorrow Wednesday as it crosses into um, China. But as of right now we continue to to watch Bolivin in terms of its impacts not only across South Korea but also for North Korea probably some serious uh, damages and also the threat of widespread flooding. Uh, as for South Korea in terms of the conditions here it should improve in the next 12 hours. Uh, Seoul is still reporting around uh, 30 to 40 knot winds roughly around uh, tropical storm strength should start to die down in the next few hours as the system quickly moves north. Before we end our video up, I just want to quickly mention the other system here in the Atlantic Basin, Tropical Storm Isaac, uh, th still threatening to make landfall here in New Orleans tomorrow on the 7th anniversary of Katrina, that's Wednesday. Um, the system is still a tropical storm. Uh, we were expecting this to become a hurricane at this point, but uh, seems to be some dry air wrapping around the circulation. Although the win winds are now uh, roughly around at 110 kilometers per hour, so um, tropical storm, hurricane, either way, it will still make an impact. Uh, very uh, big threat in terms of storm surge across the um, city here of New Orleans, as the system will uh, track uh, roughly just west of the city so those inflow uh, those winds coming from the Gulf of Mexico will continue to push those waters into um, uh, the area definitely testing the dams and levees that were were built and were basically strengthened uh, after Katrina hit so um, this is the latest forecast from the National Hurricane Center but it's still expecting a hurricane but uh, have downgraded their outlook now a category one by Tuesday evening um, that this is United States time obviously so um, that's Wednesday here in the Western, uh, in Western Pacific um, still hurricane warnings across Louisiana Mississippi and Alabama and again uh, I've uh, mentioned yesterday that states of emergency have been declared across many cities especially New Orleans and evacuations being done there in fact the airport has been closed um, since last night, I believe. Have uh, if you know folks living down here, you might want to check them out. Um, system moves across, but that ends our video update for today. You can check out this official link, especially here in South Korea. You still have, s if you do live in South Korea, also for Taiwan, so the threat uh, from strong winds and heavy rains are beginning to subside here, courtesy of Tembin. But uh, unfortunately, for those in uh, South Korea. And North Korea ordeal from uh, Bolivin will continue throughout the night and into um, uh, tomorrow. And for more info, actually, for um, Tropical Storm Isaac, you can head out to 28storms.com. Uh, we'll leave a link below in our video description for more video updates. They are also doing their own version of video updates, uh, but this time uh, focused more on the storms in the Atlantic Basin. Stay safe, guys.